Hi guys, me again. So apparently I've uh, triggered a few people um, with uh, with me saying that I come from a political legacy. And um, so I, I decided to, uh, and then they're calling me out on it. So I decided to go ahead and just make this little video. And at, at the same time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dedicate this as a call out to uh, Donald Trump, uh, Greg Abbott, and Ron DeSantis. Number one, um, you guys have no idea what leadership is. You have no sense of what leadership is. You do not know what it is to bring a people together. You do not know what it is to appreciate people for who they are. You do not know what it is to appreciate following generations for who they are and what they can and can be and what they can become. And you're more about um, in inhibiting their, their, their ability to, to become the people that they deserve to be. So, you know, with that saying, um, Please enjoy this short video and um, we'll be back again. You guys have no idea how it is to run a nation of people at all And I'm gonna show you how to do it This is my great-grandfather Ramon Teas was known as Don Ramon He was elected the first Hispanic constable of El Paso He found the value of defending the poor This is my great uncle Raymond Teas brother of my grandfather Richard he was elected the first Hispanic mayor of El Paso after serving in the Army and the Air Force. Now, after his second term as mayor of El Paso, he was appointed U.S. Ambassador of Costa Rica under JFK John F. Kennedy. <clears throat> What's interesting is, is that while my uncle was, uh, was in his first term as mayor, JFK had called him and asked him to be his ambassador, and he declined and said, I still have a duty to the people of El Paso. And when he ran for mayor again and won second term, Kennedy again asked him, will you please be my ambassador? He said, no, I still have a duty to the people. Unfortunately, around that time, uh, my great uncle lost the bid for Congress, I believe, and, and chose to take up JFK on his, on his uh, offer. Soon to become confidant to Kennedy, um, did much, much more. Uh, Post-assassination, he continued to serve under Lyndon B. Johnson, and from there, I believe, and from there, he was appointed to the Equal, Empo Equal Employment Opportunity Commission by Richard Nixon. So he, he got to touch uh, Nixon's administration as well. Now, this is Lyndon B. Johnson, Lopez Mateo, President of Mexico, and my great uncle Raymond. This is them standing at the Stanton Bridge. Uh, crossing over and this was a unity a solidification in unity between the United States and Mexico There is a park the Na Chamisal National Memorial which memorizes this This is my grandfather's young insurance salesman um, He was considered the political genius of the family uh, He was the one that was able to orchestrate all these campaigns and very successful in getting everybody um, getting getting elected right? and uh this is my grandfather again, he, uh, the man who I still strive to be like. He uh, was a great man. He sat on a school board. Well, he was a county commissioner for many years, defended the south side of El Paso, um, and did a great job making sure that, you know, the poor had uh, just as much as the those that had more to do, you know, fought for their... Um, not just um, equality, but for their access to different things like amusements and access to everything that everybody else did have. You know, he made it possible for those that didn't have any money to be able to attend, you know, certain functions. And this is me with Governor Ann Richards during um, one of my, one of my uh, stints as uh, precinct chair for the 40th precinct there. Um, I soon went on to be president for a few Democratic um uh, uh, clubs and currently my, my cousin Cynthia who uh, followed in my great uncle Raymond Steps as ambassador to Costa Rica um, you know so she's still she, she's followed and continued the political legacy for the family so as you can see I come from a, a heritage uh, a legacy of people that made it their point in life to bring a people together. When my great uncle Raymond uh, Lopez Mateo and Lyndon B. Johnson crossed the Staten Bridge, it was to signify the solidity, the, the, the solidity between uh, the United States and Mexico as partners, as, as a common people. Yeah, you know, and, and when my great uncle was elected um, mayor of El Paso, 
you know, he told my great grand, he told my great grandfather, you know, your dad, there's no way this will happen. There's no way people will vote for a Mexican uh, into office because in that day, you know, everything was run by the European, you know, by white people, by the European Americans, and they all went by what the radios and TV said, you know, um, and what the newspapers said. Uh, but they would prove them wrong and show uh, how important it is that everybody be represented and be and be given a voice. My grandfather, you know, on school board representing the South Side, representing the poor kids, the children, to show, you know, uh, the rest of, of, of the city and the board, to show the board, to show those that were representing, you know, those of the more affluent status, you know, hey, everybody deserves, everybody deserves just as much as, as everybody else does, you know. So that's, that's, that's leadership. That is leadership, you know. That is how you bring up people together, and that is how you make history. The history you guys are making is going down in the books as horrible people, as separatists, as people that are that cause pain. You're going down in history as people that cause divisiveness. You're going down in history as people that cause heartache, who tears family, who tears children from their family. You're, you're, you're Abbott, you're going down in history as, as somebody who kills children, who purposely harm pregnant women, um, who's ordered uh, law enforcement to push people back into the water and drown and die, and those kids that have drowned and died, and Abbott, those um, uh, those migrants that are preg that got pregnant by the uh, by the by the Boston by the Boston cop, yeah, that's all part of your history, Trump. You know, all this coming down from the January 6th that uh, the Congressional Committee has shown that, yeah, you did it. That's going to be your legacy. And Ron DeSantis, you're just an idiot. So that's your legacy. So, you know, guys, the way we're going to get around this is by getting out and to vote, vote, vote. And please vote, okay? Please become active. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And uh, we can get through this and get it done. Bye.